Hey, Karen, are you ready to sing the Pot of Vegetable Garden song? Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. It goes like this. Watch the tomatoes grow. Watch those veggies grow. That's the best thing we know. We're at the potted vegetable garden. Say bye, Dad. Bye. Happy gardening. Tower garden, yes. G'day my friends, this is Marty Ware here today and I've got a cool video for you. I'm going to be covering two things. The update for the outdoor underground worm farm and also why you should be feeding it cow manure. Yes, old dried cow manure because it holds a beneficial microbe that is passed through the worm's gut that is then transformed into a casting which can be uptaken very, very easily by all plants, whether it be in pots or out in the vegetable garden. Now, don't use the fresh manure. As you, if you're getting, gathering fresh manure, you need to dry it out and wait till it's dry and then add it, wet it down, and the worms will get in and devour it. Break it up as much as possible so they can get it in their little mouths in there and eat it all up and they'd love to lay eggs in it as well so what you can do is you can leave a couple of chunky bits and some powdered bits and they'll lay eggs into the chunky bits and then you can actually grab those chunky bits and start another small worm farm somewhere else and add the eggs into there it's a great way to move your eggs around and your worms around before so they don't get stressed out they'll actually hollow through those big chunky parts and you just grab hold of it and move it somewhere else. All right, so now we're going to look at the outdoor underground worm farm and see exactly what we're up to, uh, the goods and bad points about it, and I'm sure you're going to love this next part of the video. Okay, here is the worm farm, the underground worm farm that you would have seen many months ago. It's actually feeding this whole bed of cherry tomatoes. We've got our, sorry, we've got our marigolds down there, which are keeping away the eel worm nematodes. And I've put layers of newspaper. And what's happened is, is uh, there's the food, and probably can't see the worms because it's a little bit dark in here and uh, I put a lot of layers in but uh, they're in there and they're doing really really quite well and, but I don't know if they're actually moving in and out of the garden because what I've found is that uh, a lot of these roots actually moved in through the holes and are feeding out of this worm bin which is really cool and I'd say that some are escaping out of the top some worms are escaping out of the top and moving through this uh, mulch is, that's what I wanted them to do but I'm not sure if they're getting back into the worm farm. But, you know, these are, are getting quite a little bit on now, these cherry tomatoes. But they are producing fruits, and we've been coming down every day. And I'm sure other people are coming in here as well, because it's a bit of a community area, and collecting. And what I've done here with this straw bale here, is I've actually put this plant in to the straw bale. So it's a runner running across one of the sucker shoots and I'm going to get it to strike off some roots and then cut it off there and grow a whole new plant. Now that was one of the ideas uh, originally and I've also done it over here uh, as well. So really, honestly, this is like all sand. It's like a sandy loam and it's more really sand than actually loam. And, you know, this is feeding all this cherry tomato bush here, which is getting a little bit on, but you can see that, it, like, this new growth that's coming through, it's just fantastic. And I had to cut back one of the trees to let in more light. But I'm going to have continual cherry tomatoes right through into the summer for sure. And, you know, they are dropping a few fruits here and there, so I'm going to get new seedlings come through. So really, I would say that this underground worm farm really has been a success because the worms are creating all the nutrient inside and as they're laying their castings in there those roots that have gone through from the tomatoes are feeding inside that bin and I water that bin as well so they'll be getting a drink from it 
So I'm really, really happy with it. And when I move, I can just pull this whole thing out and take it away. So it's really quite fabulous. And there's my mother in the background checking out the garden. She's probably going to hide now. And you can see the rest of it here in the bales. They're doing not too bad. The strawberries are coming through. The bales are getting older. We've been picking the odd pea and the microgreens and things from there. I planted a warrigal green in there, which I took all the shoots off. I'm hoping that it's going to reshoot through and it's a type of spinach. And we're picking peas and beans and things from out of here. You can see the snow pea there. Very yummy. Karen loves to eat those. And she gets, she devours those peas even there when she can find them. And so, you know, uh, I'll give you more updates about this garden uh, over time. But I just wanted to fill you in about the underground garden, underground worm farm for now, and let you know how it's happening. I'm going to move over to the next worm farm uh, right now. So I'll just cut off this bit and see. So you may have remembered about the uh, hanging worm farm I had. Well, this. It actually rotted and broken and so what I'm doing now is I'm trialing a strawberry bag and this seems to be working quite well so once they've eaten all through this I'm just going to plant it straight out I'm not even going to pull out that stuff I'm just going to put a bit of potting mix in there and plant straight into those pockets and have it performing now it's pretty much in the shade most of the day it's in the Sun here right now there are worms in here and uh, being this time of the day in the middle of the day I'm not sure if we're going to be able to scoop them up. We'd have to go right through and it's a bit hard to film in here. But they are in here and uh, I, I, what I do is, because they escape through the holes, is the worm farm up on the balcony. I just refill it back up again because I've got lots, I've got thousands pretty much growing up on, on the balcony and they escape all the time, even out of that one. So, uh, yep, there'll be more updates about this farm coming on the way. Uh, the worm, The other worm farm over here which is the tyre worm farm. Let's go and have a look at that. Now I've got two tyre worm farms and I put a hessian sack over that one and I've just pulled this one up and started harvesting the castings the compost. And what I found is this big jacaranda tree here got in there and really started throwing a lot of roots in there and having a good old feed. And, you know, it's grown the best I've ever seen it since I started the vegetable garden. So I've had to actually cut it back. So next time I'm gonna put some tiles underneath there and um, just some old tiles or something like that where the roots can't get up through into the farm. But I've actually got pretty good compost out of there. And this one uh, needs to be emptied out real soon as well. And yeah, I'll dig it back into the vegetable garden when I'm doing some planting. So it's a great idea to keep these in the shade. The, the, there's no toxins coming out of the rubber. The worms are fine. If there was any toxins at all, the worms would be the first ones to feel it. They hate anything like that, and uh, they're performing quite well in these rubber tyre worm farms, which we can get rubber tyres pretty much anywhere. Hey, my friends, you can see the beautiful sunshine coming through. We've got birds whistling away here. I'm having a grand old time down in the vegetable garden. Just goes to show that if you've got a vegetable garden, you should be looking at worm farming as well and adding that cow manure into the worm farm to get that extra beneficial microbe. All right, I'm Marty Ware from Marty's Garden. Come and subscribe. Well, subscribe now so you can see more cool videos just like this on the way. Happy gardening and we will see you at the next video real soon. Bye for now.